We have an ABC News exclusive in the story of Rachel Dolezal, the NAACP leader now accused of lying about being black, her own parents coming out and saying their daughter is in fact white. And now her two adopted brothers are speaking out, offering their take on the sister and the secret that she asked them to keep. ABC's Candace Gibson is in Spokane, Washington for us this morning. Hi, Candace. Hi, Paula. Hi, Dan. And I got to tell you, the more we talk with people in this small town of about 200,000, the more we get a sense that people feel duped by the head of the local NAACP. In the meantime, the person at the center of this controversy, the root of it all, isn't speaking out. This morning, the adopted brothers of Spokane NAACP leader Rachel Dolezal speaking out for the first time about the controversy surrounding her racial identity. She took me aside and told me to make sure that no one found out where she was actually from and that she was going to change her identity and for me not to um, blow her cover. The most talked about NAACP An uproar. Dolezal making national headlines after this interview went viral. Are your parents, are they white? I, I, I read. The civil rights activist and Africana studies professor accused of lying about her race, marking black on a city of Spokane volunteer job application. She had the best intentions and she did some good, but she did not go about it in the right way. She was group white and she was really privileged growing up. This photo of Dolezal sporting long dreadlocks extensions at an MLK rally in January, appearing different from the blonde girl born in Montana seen in these photos released by her parents. Dolezal's brother saying Rachel's physical transformation started a few years ago. It started out with the hair and um, then then she'd have, you know, probably a little darker tan. And it was, it was very progressive. Dolezal emailing NAACP chapter members over the weekend, writing, there are many layers to this situation. Her credibility on the docket Monday when the NAACP board meets. Dolezal's predecessor as chapter president telling me he had no idea Dolezal might be white. You had no idea your successor was white. Right. It, it just didn't matter with me, really. So she said, I, I went by what she said. And what did she say? She said she's African American. And everybody believed it. In the meantime, Dolezal in that email to many of the members saying that she will discuss her race tomorrow here in that meeting with the board members in Spokane. Some interesting comments, so Dan and Paula from her adopted brothers. Absolutely. And a lot of people looking forward to what she's going to say tomorrow. Candace, thanks for being on the story for us.